This is part 30 of WCF video series. In this video, we'll discuss the advantages and disadvantages of hosting WCF service in IIS. This is continuation to part 29, so please watch part 29 before proceeding. Here are the list of advantages. No code required to host the service. The service host directive in .svc file is responsible for creating an instance of service host when required. There is no need to write custom code to instantiate and start service host as it is the case with self-hosting. If you recollect from the previous sessions of this video series, we have hosted this WCF service that is the Hello service using a console application and hosting a WCF service in a console application is self-hosting and if you look at this program.cs file notice that we are writing code here to create an instance of service host and then we are invoking the open method on the service host instance okay so we don't have to write this same code when we host the WCF service in IIS all we need is a .svc file and within this file we will specify the service host directive and the service attribute will point to the service that we want to host. So the service host directive is responsible for creating an instance of service host and starting it when required. Automatic message based activation. IIS provides automatic message based activation. This means that the service can be activated on demand. We don't have to have the service host always running. If you look at, you know, self-hosting for example you know we have hosted this hello service within this console application so if we want our service to be available for the clients then you know we have to make sure that the console application is up and running okay but with IIS we don't have to do that once you deploy you know the project to IIS you know it can be activated on demand and it's called as message based activation Okay, so when a message arrives at the service, it launches itself automatically and fulfills the request. In case of self-hosting, you know, the service should always be running and we are responsible uh, for ensuring that the service host application is up and running. And another benefit is automatic process recycling. So IIS provides the capability of automatic process recycling if the process is not healthy and if it's taking a very long time to service the client request. We don't get this automatic process recycling with self-hosting. And the disadvantage is that, you know, if we host the WCF service in IIS 5.1 and IIS 6.0, then, you know, the service is only limited to HTTP communication. This means that we can only use HTTP related bindings. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.